Evaporation by John Gaylord Coulter for the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection 11. Science. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Evaporation by John Gaylord Coulter from Plant Life and Plant Uses for the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection 11. Science. Evaporation is the name of a process. It is the changing of a substance from a liquid or a solid into a gas. Usually we think only of liquids as evaporating, but there are a few solids which change directly into gas. Camphor is an example. Evaporation is a process with which all living things are much concerned. It occurs at the surface of your body as well as at the surface of a plant's body. You have noticed on hot summer days that you are much more uncomfortable when perspiration sticks to you than you are when it quickly evaporates. People speak of sticky heat and of dry heat. The former is much more uncomfortable than the latter. This illustrates a matter which affects plant life as well as our own. On those sticky hot days of August, you may have heard the expression that the humidity is great. That expression refers to the air. It refers to the fact that in the air there is an unusual amount of water. This water is, of course, in the gaseous state. The humidity of air is the quality it obtains from the presence of water particles in it. The more water particles there are in the air, the less rapidly will evaporation take place. This reminds you of solution and osmosis. There is the same principle involved. The rate of diffusion of particles in both solution and evaporation depends on the difference in their abundance. Solution is more rapid when the particles of the solute are less abundant in the solvent. Diffusion of sugar in tea is most rapid when it is first put in. It gradually slows down. Evaporation is more rapid when the air has in it few particles of the substances evaporating than it is when the air has in it many of such particles. Water evaporates more rapidly when the humidity of the air is slight than when it is great. This is a matter which affects plant life as well as our own though in different ways. Evaporation is a cooling process. The more it is checked at the surface of our bodies, the more we feel the heat. Why is it that evaporation cools the surface at which it occurs? Remember the molecules. Molecules are always in motion. Though the mass which they compose may be stationary, the individual molecules are always dancing about as much as their surroundings will let them. Now these dancing molecules at the surface of a liquid tend to dance off into the air, especially if it is dry air. This is the cause of evaporation. The warmest molecules are the most vigorous dancers. They are the most likely to fly off into the air, and, as they go, they take their heat with them. This lowers the temperature of the whole surface. If, on the contrary, the warmest particles do not fly off the surface on account of the abundance of them already in the air, and if the surface concern is a human skin, the person inside of it is sure to be uncomfortable. This fact that evaporation causes loss of heat has been proved to be of advantage to plants that are exposed to high temperatures. It appears in some cases to prevent the internal temperature from rising to a point which seriously impairs the life processes. With plants, it is rapid evaporation rather than slow evaporation which is likely to cause trouble. In fact, plants thrive in greatest abundance in tropical forests where the humidity is always great and where evaporation is much less than in drier climates. On bright dry days of summer, especially during a drought, when the soil as well as the air has become dry, many plants are likely to suffer. 
water evaporates from them more rapidly than the roots are able to supply it cells lose their turgidity and this causes wilting the grass turns brown and the corn in the fields fires as the farmers say so far as plants are concerned evaporation appears to be a hindrance as well as a help plants can stand heat better than we can but they cannot stand loss of water so well it is easier for us to take a drink than it is for them to get more water plants which live in dry places as in deserts are mostly plants whose construction protects them against evaporation their power to retain water is much greater than that of plants which live in regions where water is more abundant End of Evaporation by John Gaylord Coulter For the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection 11 Science